Hello YouTube, Ulrich Zebulon here with Zebulon Aerospace with another informative episode of Advanced Kerbal Construction. Today uh, we are now working on our Blothar system and uh, what we are trying to do, you remember this from the last episode where I showed you how to build this, now we want to make a sub-assembly and we're going to go in and we're going to do this the easy way here real quick uh, let, uh, to figure out because we actually got to get into the uh, file system uh, and do a mo few minor changes and I'll show you why here in a second. So let's go ahead here and let's load up a basic fuel tank and under normal circumstances when you're doing a sub-assembly you add your part and then you go ahead and add your next part Voila! And you have what the basis for making your sub-assembly. These are the two parts of our uh, Blothar uh, 1 rocket. Now you take this and you drop it in and I'll oh, just attach it. Oh come on, just get out of there. Let's see here. And we're going to call this test 1. And we're going to go ahead and save it. Now as you well know at this point you can grab it and it attaches just fine. On the other hand what happens if you take the same part and do what we did and that is we started with this part and we put this part on top and granted we put in a bunch of other stuff in here and down below but we're just going to do this as a basic part and then at the top we'll go ahead and add our fuel tank. And uh, now let's go back to the sub come on, uh, sub-assembly menu. And you notice that this, you can't do it, right? Now I showed you this in the last episode. So to make your sub-assembly, this is what you got to do. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and call this uh, test two. Go ahead and save it. Come in here, and here is our menu system. And we notice we have our test one in the subassembly. We have test two in the VAB. Let's go ahead and take this and drag this down into there. And now for all this to work, we actually have to exit the, the uh, building and come back into it. And it resets uh, the ships uh, that you have in here. Let's go ahead and let's go new. Let's go ahead and bring in our tank. And as before, we can come in here and that works just fine. That's test one, which was our first one. But if you made an entire ship, oh no, our attachment node is on top. It's at the wrong end. So what do we do? How do we fix this? Well, first off, let's come back here into our menu and uh, we're going to open both of these and uh, text edit. So here's uh, test one and we're going to open up a new window so we can compare both of them side by side. And let's open up test two and here we go. Now you'll notice right off the bat, we have a couple minor things, no description. This one, uh, which was the one we saved in the VHB, we don't have a description, that doesn't matter. Uh, type none, type VHB. Uh, you can go ahead and change those to make things look nicer, but it's absolutely not necessary. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because that's just what I do. And go ahead and paste, and but like I said, this is not absolutely necessary. But I like doing it anyway. It just makes for things cleaner. Now we'll notice on the uh, next thing is our part. What they'll do is they'll go ahead and they will list the parts. Here we have our uh, decoupler, which uh, we had at the top of the one that actually works. And then we have the medium tank. This here is another process that's not necessary, but I like doing it on the, uh, on the uh, ones where there's a lot more parts, is uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the decoupler to the top so they match perfectly. So we're gonna come in here, 
come all the way down to the bottom. We'll go ahead and cut that and paste. So now we have exact copies. Uh, next thing you're going to notice, the decoupler has a number after it. It's a unique identifier for the part, and you'll notice that they are a bit different uh, in number-wise. That's not important on the first part, but uh, we'll get to it on the tank and show you why. Now further down, you'll notice we have a link, and it's linking to the medium tank, which is below and uh, it also has an ATTN uh, number. Now here we just have the ATTN number, which is I believe attachment node. So what we have is we need to put a link number in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here and we're gonna go ahead and copy, uh, tab, paste, and I didn't copy the number because when we come down to the next part, which is this, you will notice that the part numbers are not the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this part number of the one we're actually using, go back on up and go ahead and paste it. And that's good to go. Now there's one more thing we got to do is on here, we go back to the attention, uh, the uh, attachment node. You notice, once again, to repeat ourselves, we have a link. And what it is, the link is the first part or the part that uh, starts a series of attachments. So if we added more stuff to the tank, the tank would have a link to those parts that are attached to it. Uh, since here we only have two parts, uh, our uh, decoupler is the only part that's going to have a link because that's the first in the chain of parts. Uh, likewise, we ended up, we had to add it here because it didn't, we were backwards. Now if we come down to this part, you'll notice this has a link on the, uh, the tank and this does not. So we need to delete this. And that's all there is to it. At this point, we can go ahead and save this. We'll get these out of the screen so we can see what's going on. Once again, to reset the building, you have to exit out of it. We don't need to save it and then go ahead and go back in. That resets, uh, resets all the parts in the parts menu. Uh, oh, we got this here. Okay, we'll just leave that there. Um, I'm taking a few extra steps here. Uh, and once again, our first test, which is the one we did under normal Kerbal building uh, techniques, works fine. This is the one that we just brought in. And look, the attachment node is on top. Now we can continue building. So you may ask, how do we get this as a subassembly? And it's the same process, it's a little more complicated because we have more parts. But what we end up wanting to do is we want to take the, uh, this is the one, oh, I hate it when I do that. There we go, let's bring that back up. We're gonna wanna take the 1B and let's go ahead and uh, copy that and we're gonna go ahead and paste into this folder. Now remember, this is what we had in the last go around. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna open that and we have it in this file here. So we're going to do the same thing, we just have a lot more parts to deal with. So we had that description, once again, I'm a little anal on this, I like to do this, but it's actually not necessary. Um, but I like everything matching, you don't have to do this. Paste. Alright, so that gets the start of this done. Once again, we're going to try and bring the part that's going to be at the beginning to the very top. 
And this time we're going to have to, uh, we attached uh, a large tank, another large tank, the engine cluster, and after the engine we should have, there's our decoupler. So let's go ahead and grab this part. And this is why I like grabbing this part and bringing it to the top because it's uh, oftentimes on some of these is buried really deep in. So you just want to make sure you just get the brackets, don't get the next part or anything. Uh, cut. Delete. Come back to the top. Paste. Okay, now you notice this decoupler is linked to a whole bunch of stuff. But it's not linked to the bottom tank. So we're going to have to add that. Tab. And once again, we will do like we did last time. We will go ahead and copy this. paste. Now you notice all these other links are the different things we attach it. We had four uh, mini fuel tanks attached to it and we had four solar panels. And so now what we need to do is we need to come down and we need this part number here. Copy. And right there. Oh. I didn't do the underscore. Let's go ahead and put that in. Paste. Okay, so uh, 692. 692. So that's good. And now we're also going to go in and uh, link to the decoupler, which is this uh, 4222. And since it's the only decoupler, we know what it is, but we're going to, yeah, 4222. So it is the same thing. And what we are going to want to do is delete that. Backspace. And that's all there is to it. So we can now go ahead and save this. Bring this over. Bring this over. Get this out of the way. Uh, leave the assembly building come back in. So anyway, that's how you take a basic rocket and uh, put it into a sub-assembly and move the uh, attachment node in order to make your rocket and go ahead and fly. I'm going to do another one on radial attachment nodes. Uh, it's a lot more complicated, uh, but it follows basically the same thing. So anyway, I hope you found this uh, video informative, and remember, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.